Hello everybody. I have another Flat Earth Proof video for you today. This one is called His Ways Are Beyond Our Understanding. I want to read to you a uh, couple of verses out of the Bible. This is from the Et Set Sefer version of the Bible, which uh, puts in the Aleph Tav in the scriptures where it should be um, most of the time in the scriptures that those two letters, the first and last letters of the Hebrew alphabet, are not uh, even put into the uh, text that you read. I'm reading today from Romans 11 and uh, verse 33 and 34. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahuwah, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. His ways are past finding out. We don't understand his ways. And I think that's especially true concerning this earth that we live on. Right now, we just don't understand how God works it all out, how the sun moves, how the moon moves and works, how the stars move, how everything works in this world that we live in. Then verse 34, for who has known the mind of Aleph Tav Yahuwah? So that's the signature of Jesus Christ, the word of God, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Aleph Tav, the Alpha and the Omega in Greek. But in Hebrew, the Aleph Tav, the first and the last, that speaks of Jesus, the word of God, the word who became flesh. So again, verse 34, for who has known the mind of Et Yahuwah? the first and the last, Jesus. Or who has been his counselor? Now I want to go back to the first book of the Bible ever written, probably the book of Job. This is uh, chapter 38 of Job. Can you bring forth Maseroth in his season? I want to go back to 31. Can you bind the sweet influences of Pleiades? or loose the bands of Orion? Can you bring forth Maseroth in his season, or can you guide Arcturus with his sons? He's speaking of the constellations. Can you, can you move them like I do? Can you make them progress through the heavens with such accuracy like I do, says God to Job? Verse 33. Do you know the ordinances of heaven? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds? Can you set the dominion? Let me go back to verse 33 because I missed part of it. Do you know the ordinances of heaven? Can you set the dominion thereof in the earth? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds that abundance of waters may cover you? In other words, God controls these things. God is the one who created them. He's the one that made everything the way it is. He's the one who created this flat earth that we live on in a way that we just, at least I can't fully comprehend it. But today what I've done is, is a little experiment that I think you will find very interesting. I have calculated what the size of the moon, or not the moon, but the sun and the earth would be if the sun was only six feet from the earth. And I'm going to post the uh, calculations uh, in the description of this video below. For those of you who like a little algebra, uh, you, you'll find it interesting, I think. So I figured out that if the sun was only six feet from the earth, the sun would be 0.67 inches in diameter. On the other hand, the earth would only be 0.15 millimeters in diameter. Very small compared to the sun, just as we're told. So I'm using the figures that the globalists use. The people who tell us we live on a globe, I'm using their figures to show how ludicrous their ideas are. What really brought this to mind was my working on the equinox and 
being utterly baffled that the entire planet could be seeing the sun rise and set at exactly a 12 hour period of time. That everyone in a certain longitude would see the sun rise at the same time. That the sun would be exactly to the east. That everyone in the longitude would see the sun set at the same time and they would see it set exactly in the west. How can that be? I, I can't understand it. I certainly can't understand it on the globe model. But something else that this experiment does is to show you that the whole idea of the tilted Earth changing our seasons, changing the times of our day, changing how hot it is, how cold it is, the whole idea that the tilt of the Earth does that, you will see now, is ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. Now I'm just going to show you a few simple videos I did that's a simple experiment that you can do and I think it proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that we do not live on a globe Earth. So let's get into this little experiment that I did. A grain of sand is said to be 0.2 millimeters in diameter. Here you're looking at a ruler with millimeters there at the top and that's a poppy seed and you'll see that it is just about one millimeter in diameter which is about five times bigger than a grain of sand. And my calculation of the Earth, the size of the Earth, from a distance of six feet from the Sun, would actually be only about 0.15 millimeters. So this poppy seed is about five times or six times the size of what the Earth would actually be if this experiment model were to scale. I also want to show you that the Sun, the Sun if it was six feet away from the Earth would be 0.67 inches in diameter and this particular flashlight the lens that you see there is just about exactly the right size. So this experiment although simple I think will prove a very interesting point. Okay, I am in the dark room at my office and the Sun is behind me and it is six feet away from the Earth. And then I'm going to try to zoom in on the Earth now. Earth is coming into focus. Notice how illuminated everything is. And think of the Earth and what they tell us about the Earth, that the Earth tilts and therefore the amount of Sun that reaches different parts varies according to the tilt. If I were to tilt that a little bit I don't think that would affect the sunlight shining on it at all, do you? Now I'm going to back up here and I'm going to change the sunlight. The sunlight is shining from just six feet away from that, but that is in scale to this experiment. Now I'm going to focus the light And here's the light more focused. Do you see any part of that earth that would be out of the light except for what is attached to my wall right now? In other words, if that little dot of an earth moved, tilted a little bit, that would not affect the sunlight striking it at all. 